chair now invites two very special guests to the stage to share their stories of the persecution they have faced for standing up for the gospel and speaking the truth of God's word. First, we will hear from Dr. Paivi Raisinen, who is a Lutheran, a medical doctor, and a long-standing member of the Finnish parliament, who wrote a tract <coughs> simply describing the biblical view of marriage and sexuality. Bishop Poyola of our Finnish partner church assisted in publishing that tract, and I'll tell, let them tell you what happened thereafter. Welcome, Dr. Pivey. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dear, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is an honor and great joy to be here with you. Uh, and I have to say that I feel so at home in this lovely Lutheran Fellowship. On Freedom Houses, World Freedom Index, uh, Finland, my home country, tops the chart of the freest country in the world. Finland has also just recently been named the happiest country in the world for the sixth year in a row. It is a paradox that in a country that ranks so well in these evaluations, which has a good reputation regarding free speech internationally, and which has long historical roots in Lutheran confession, it is a contradiction that I have been criminally charged for voicing my deeply held Lutheran beliefs based on classical Christianity. In 2019, it was a shock to me when I heard that the Finnish Lutheran Evangelical Church, the main church of Finland, uh, announced its public support to the Pride event. And I uh, thought that now it is time to speak. <laughs> and, and then I, I wrote a Twitter post where I asked the leadership of the church that how is it possible uh, that uh, you are celebrating something as a, as a pride, what Bible calls shame and sin. And I took a photo from the Bible, from, from Book of Romans, where Apostle Paul teaches about same-sex relationships. And after that, there became a public debate, and some uh, citizen made a criminal complaint, and police started to investigate that my Twitter posting uh, it was a surprise to me. I never could imagine that something uh, could happen. I had written 2004 a pamphlet about marriage and sexuality, uh, which was uh, published by Bishop Johanna Pohjola and uh, Lutheran Heritage Foundation. Just a few years ago, I was working as a Minister of Interior uh, in charge of police. And then I was sitting there interrogated about my belief, about my faith, about the Bible. If this happens in Finland, it can happen anywhere. So I, I think that now it is time not to be silent. It is time to speak and, and be open about your faith in Jesus. Are you willing to remove the pamphlet from your website in two weeks? Do you follow the Finnish national law or the words of the Bible? As a pastor, I'm used to many kinds of questions, but I would have never imagined that I would have to answer these and many other questions in the police interrogations and then to the state prosecutor in the courtroom. Since 2019, uh, there has been a legal process against Dr. Rasanen and against me, and we were acquitted by the district court a year ago, but then the prosecutor made an appeal for the appeal court, so the, the process continues, most probably for a while. But we are ready to go all the way to the end and give the good, good confession of our faith in the court and in the public. But I think it does, this is case is not about, only about us, but, but about Christians in this uh, cultural battle or spiritual battle, which is taking place in the Western countries. So the best thing is uh, to confess Christ and his word boldly in, in, in each vocation and in each place 
where God has placed you and, and, and that's why that's how the sound of, of the good news of Christ will be heard in US and in Finland also. Preach Christ crucified. That's the key message of our Lutheran Reformation. It's about our salvation. It's about the center of the gospel. We are not to come here to save this world, but the people from out of this world. And we have the best message to deliver the free grace and mercy in Christ Jesus. So be bold and, and share this wonderful news with, with others. Mm -hmm.